Today we are at Nisun East Park and we are going to bring you to this 3 bedroom unit at Lily Deal. Newly renovated with $80,000 worth of renovation pumped in. And also this is standing at 1195 square feet, regular efficient layout with no balcony, move-in condition. If you are family that are looking for some place for your own stay or investors looking for a good rental you, please stay tuned with us as we bring you through this home tour. Let's go! Baby. Lily Deal is one of the first EC that was developed in the town of Yishun and this is a 99 years lease hold TOP in 2003 with a healthy remaining lease of 76 years. This project consists of 5 blocks, total of 318 units and each unit comes with 3 bedroom layout. And a project with all units being 3 bedroom, this will mean that the residents profile here are mostly family and this is one of the main benefits of EC that was created during the earlier era. Lily Day is located at the corner of Yishun Avenue 6 and 11. Yishun Avenue 1 as the main connecting road for the whole Yishun Township. It is also one of the main connecting road to Yishun Dam which then leads you to SLE and City in a short 10 minutes. Yishun and Khatib MRT is just a straight bus away. And at Yishun MRT, there is North Point City which will satisfy all your shopping needs. And the next nearby shopping malls will then be Wisteria Mall and Junction 9. And for primary school, within one click, we have North View and Huamin Primary School. And within two click, there are Northland, Naval Base, Sishan, Chongfu and Yishun Primary School. For second Secondary schools, there are Northbrook Secondary, Chongqing High, Yishun Town, and Orchid Park Secondary. And also located right beside this Nisun East Park allows us to enjoy this greener review with a partial sky view. So pulling out the floor plan, you will notice that once you enter the doorway, you'll be greeted by the dining area, the kitchen, and on its right will be the yard WC and the home shelter. And on the left of the kitchen, you will find the living room, the first common room, and the master bedroom, all facing Nisun East Park. And right opposite the master bedroom, that will be the second common bedroom with two bathrooms. And for this unit, there's no balcony. There's only two planters located right beside the living room and the first common bedroom. This is the dining area. It's currently fitted with a four-seater dining table. This space is actually large enough for you to even put in a six-seater to eight-seater dining set if you were to flush the side of the table to the wall. And our owner has also thoughtfully designed this four ceiling with LED downlight to ensure the space is well lit while you're having your meal. This will be the newly renovated kitchen, open concept with brand new top hung and bottom cabinetries with Bloom soft closing system, new basin, new fittings, new cooker, hood and hot from Fujio. And right here, there will be a small window and right on top of the basin, this will be the dish rack. Comes with a Bloom soft closing system, allows you to put in your rack right after your washing. If you're someone that does a lot of heavy cooking, you can actually install a glass panel type of sliding window right over here to enclose the space for your heavy cooking. Right here in the yard, this will be the corner for your washing machine and your dryer. This will be the refuge chute and the basin right beside it. This will be the WC. Right beside it will be then the bomb shelter or the home shelter, large enough for a single bed. Stepping into the living room, you'll notice that the whole living room is very, very spacious in size with one secondary area and one primary living area for you to utilize. So let's quickly move to the window and check out the view first. So we are right beside Nisun East Park and what we have here is there is a good distance from the opposite HDB from our unit. And what you'll notice here is also this particular planter right here. And we have four huge panels of window. And one special thing about this house is that the lower panel of the windows actually can be opened up for you to maintain your plants or do your daily watering for your plants outside at the plant. Turning back to the living area, we will notice that now we are fitted with a small little three-seater sofa. I would think that this space is huge enough for you to even put in a four to five-seater, even an L-shaped sofa if you were to maximize the space. This comes with a good viewing distance of 3.35 meter. After maximizing this space as your primary living area, this particular space right here will then be able to let you freely utilize. If you're someone that prefer to watch your TV while you're having your dinner, you can actually place your dining table right here. And one of the benefits of shifting the dining table to this particular section secondary area will mean that if you are someone that requires a little bit more storage cabinetries, you can actually install floor to ceiling height type of cabinets right here beside the door flush all the way to the entrance of the kitchen and this will allow you to maximize your storage.
And next, let's take a look at all the different layouts that we have right here in the video. There are a total of six different kind of layouts, namely from the 1195 to 1270 square feet. We are standing in a 1195 square feet layout, and for the 1206, 1227, 1238 layout, the orientation of all the rooms will be exactly the same. The main difference will be the location of the entrance for the home. The slightly larger 1259 and 127 square feet type of layout will have a different kind of orientation. And lastly, for the 1270 square feet type of unit, it will be more of a longish nature where the rooms are all aligned on the right side from the living room and kitchen and yard will be on the left of the living room. Let's pull out the site plan analysis and looking at the map, we will notice that there are only four different kind of facing in Lilydale. For the inward facing, there are two different types. One that is overlooking the pool and facing Yishun Avenue 6 and the others will be having a northeast orientation overlooking each other. We will also have text that are overlooking Yishun Avenue 1 facing the HDB. Text 9415 will be then facing the canopy. And lastly, will be those that are facing north towards Nisun East Park and we are located on stack 25 just right on top of this tree line that allows us to enjoy this nice quiet view. And by us locating right beside Nisun East Park, what this will mean for you is that this view will be here to stay and this will ensure constant brightness into your home. Once you enter the master room, you will notice that the ensuite toilet is right here. And one thing you will immediately notice when you are entering this bathroom is that this bathroom has already been newly renovated. All fittings, house, and glass panels, mirrors has all been newly replaced with Toto WC, Grohe Basin, Grohe fittings, and even a Grohe rain shower. In this corner, there will be some nook for your toiletries and a huge ventilation right here at the shower area to allow you to ventilate your bathroom. Stepping out of the bathroom, you will be immediately greeted by your built-in wardrobe. And this wardrobe is a floor-to-ceiling height type of built-in wardrobe. The room is fitted with a queen-size bed. If you prefer, you can actually fit up to a king-size bed. You still have this ample space for you to walk around. And the space is also large enough for you to install a dresser table, a study table, or even a TV console right in front of the bed. And this particular room also allows you to enjoy this particular nice greenery view of Nisun East Park. And with this facing of the Nisun East Park, this will also ensure that that this room will always be well lit when the curtains are being opened up. Let's talk a little bit about the pricing and the financial analysis for this particular unit. For the three-bedroom condominium units that are available in Yishun Town, first we have North Park Residences located in the central part of Yishun. Newer TOP in 2018, asking PSF price there will be ranging above $1,700 up to $2,000. Size for the three-bedroom there will be ranging slightly above 800 square feet to around 1,100 square feet. Next, we'll be nearer to Kati MRT and up along Yishun Avenue 1. The asking PSF for the three bedrooms there will be between $1,001 to $1,450 odd dollars. Projects like Wisteria, Signature at Eastern, Criterion and we also have Skies Miltonia and Miltonia Residences located in the Miltonia area. These projects generally are newer as well. TOP between 2014 to 2018. Prices here will be ranging between 1.13 to 1.5 million for size between 872 to 1270 square feet. We have projects like Nine Residences, Symphony Suites and the latest edition North Gaia that is stipulated to complete in 2026. For North Gaia, prices will be starting from 1.142 million for 958 square feet three bedroom type of layout. And for nine residences and symphony suites, TOP in 2015 and 2018 respectively, asking PSF there will be around 1002 to high 1006. And lastly, where we are here at Lily Deal, besides us, we'll have the canopy. Younger projects, similarly to the rest, TOP in 2014, asking PSF will be standing at around 1070. With the above, we will notice Lily Deal being the first EC in Yishun that was developed in the 2000s. Comparing to today's context, it gives us a luxurious space of near 1200 square feet at an attractive PSF a price of $920 and an asking quantum of $1.1 million. If we were to move to the new estate in Canberra, three bedrooms there that is sized at $1,200 will be starting from around $1.2 million. And if you were to take a bird's eye view and zoom out onto the whole island for a three bedroom unit standing between a size of $1,001 to $1,200 square feet with the asking price quantum below $1.15 million, we will find that there are only a few areas that allow us to enter into a good size three bedroom unit at this quantum. These areas are namely Boulay, UT, Total Area for the 
Western side of Singapore. Projects like Yume Green, Region Grove, Summerdew, and Parkview, with 99 years leasehold, built around the same year of 2000 and 2001. You can also find projects like Casablanca and La Casa in Woodland, slightly younger, built in the year 2006 and 2008. And lastly, on the Eastern Realm, projects like Eastview in Passeries, built in 1998, Tangi Rice located at Sime with a rather similar age as ours. Next, let's do a quick calculation for your financial analysis. At 1.1 million with a 4% interest rate and loan tenure of 30 years, your monthly mortgage for a 75% loan will be standing at around $3,900 per month. And if you were to pull out the past rental transaction here in Lily Deal, for investors, we will find that the highest rental transactions is already at $4,000 for a similar size unit. This will allow you to cover the mortgage repayment and partial MCSD fees. Rental yield will then be standing at 4.4%. Any higher rental will be a bonus for you. Entering into the first common bedroom, you will also notice that this room has been newly renovated. Built-in wardrobe has also been already done up. Same design as the master and the second common bedroom. This room is actually large enough to allow you to place in a queen size or even a king size bed and a small little study table right at this corner. Stepping out of the first common bedroom, you then reach your common bathroom. And this common bathroom, similarly to the master ensuite bathroom, it has also been newly renovated, replaced with grohe basin and fittings, total WC, mirror, tiles, glass panel has all been changed up. And a huge ventilation window right there for you to ventilate. Last but not least, we'll then enter into the second common bedroom. This room is slightly smaller than the first common bedroom, but similarly to the first common bedroom, it can also allow you to install a single bed with a small study area right over here. And one great thing about all these rooms is that there are not much built-in furniture except for the built-in wardrobe, which allows you to freely design this room and transform it to your own liking. And for the facilities, we also have full-fledged condo facilities right here in Lilyville, such as tennis court, main pool, children's pool, function rooms, lounge and games room, convenience store, gym, play area for your children, jacuzzi and of course barbecue pits. Thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour. To recap, this is a 3 bedroom unit at Lilydale, standing at 1195 square feet with an asking price quantum of $1.1 million and an asking PSF price of $920. Comes with very very good sized common bedroom and master room and of course this huge living space that has a primary and secondary usage. Great for family owned stay and investors as well with a rental yield of 4.4%. If you like what you have seen so far, do give our listing team a call. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel as well. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm saying what? Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> which is also shop. Which is also which is also <laughs> all your shopping, all your needs for your shopping needs. Okay.